Hi guys! We all love Pentaho Suite and the fact that it has an amazing platform. At own case, it's no different. Being Pentaho Premium Partners, we use it on a daily basis to deliver projects all around. You guys probably already know about BI Server's extensibility and how easy it is to customize its user interface. However, depending on the number of projects that we're working on at the same time, these customizations can be pretty time consuming. And so, to tackle that, we've developed a platform plugin called Tapa. Tapa's main feature is to change your user login interface, but we don't simply replace your old one for a new page. There's actually a whole new architecture behind that allows you to structure different templates and to choose between them. Every template, including the ones that come along with Tapa, are fully customizable. You can, let's say, swap images, you can change text text and download and even upload templates to the server. Another great feature from Tapa is the ability to configure in a template which assets you want to inject into Pentaho's platform web contexts. This might sound a little bit confusing for non-developers, but uh, let's say you can use these external resources to customize user console's appearance and to also deliver new features through Pentaho APIs. We've included into our custom templates two examples of assets injection. One inserts a company logo into user console's header and the other redirects Pentaho welcome page to a custom one. You can disable these guys if you don't like them. Developers can take advantage of this architecture to make their own templates and turn server migrations less painful. Tapa is in its first release and it's available now on Marketplace. If you made it this far, then make sure to download the plugin and give it a try. Your feedback is important to us. If you like this plugin, then please give us a thumbs up on this video and also don't forget to visit Tapa's repository on GitHub and give it a star. You can also report bugs and suggest new features there. To get some more Pentaho tips and see some more of our small projects, you should definitely hit the subscribe button somewhere around this video. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you up on the next one.